Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Making Investments Simple and um, today I would be talking about some of um, the tax saving investment options. Um, I have spoken about this in one of my earlier videos but uh, since uh, March 31st is approaching and people would be um, thinking about saving taxes, um, I thought of uh, making this video um, also followed by the the article which I um, which was just released in Money Control website today. So um, some of the ta tax saving investment options these are available for you for the whole year. But if you still want to um, have a look into it, please um, have a look, in look into it each of the options here. So the the very first one would be ELSS um, equity linked saving schemes. These are the only mutual fund schemes which have um, um, which have tax savings option uh, please do remember this this the, these funds have a locking period of three years uh, however these are the lowest locking period for any um, any kind of investment options which uh, from which you can save taxes so these are one of the uh, very good uh, smartest investment options available uh, and the only uh, mutual fund schemes available which has tax savings option. So this is specifically designed for that purpose. So another option would be to invest in a public provident fund PPF account. Now this is one of the old traditional uh, investment options available and it has a locking period of 15 years and uh, it, is, um, it is eligible for a tax deduction under uh, section ATC and you can save some taxes. So Additionally, it gets the exempt, exempt, exempt status. That means the returns what you receive um, after the end of uh, the maturity or whenever you want to redeem it, that's uh, completely tax free. Now, as you understand, this has a locking period of 15 years. Uh, to put it positively, this could be a good retirement corpus for you. And um, um, this has... Um, this also has an um, interest, uh, fixed interest percentage of 7.6% um, per annum currently. So this can change in future too. So this is another good option for you guys. Contribution to employee provident from EPF account. So contribute, contribution towards an EPF um, is also a, an old traditional method um, for which can help a salaried individual to save taxes. And um, it also has an... EEE status that means the returns from these um, funds also is completely exempt from taxes investing in tax saving fixed deposit now fixed deposits not all fixed deposits come under uh, section ATC however if you um, uh, if you have um, invested in a fixed deposit which has a lock-in period of five years then it is eligible for tax savings and it usually has an um, interest um, which ranges from 6.5 to 8.7 percent. There are different banks which are which give you a little more interest than others. Please do um, remember that the interest is taxable, whether you redeem it or not. And um, this this um, this these this interest is calculated based on your tax slab. So if you are in the highest tax bracket that would be the taxes you would be paying every year. So these are really uh, suitable for um, senior citizens uh, who would be looking for um, tax saving um, income schemes. Contribution to Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana. Now this, um, this, is, um, um, this was introduced um, uh, mainly because of uh, um, the saving uh, daughters campaign in India, that is the reason that the scheme was um, named as Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana, which aims at um, tackling the major problem associated with the girl child uh, and their education. So it's an account which can be opened by um, parents or guardian of a girl child below 10 years with a bank or post office to which they can continue depositing year on year to build a corpus for the girl child. Investment on uh, this particular scheme is again eligible for a deduction under ATC as we um, explained and um, it is currently um, having the highest interest person, interest rate percentage of 8.1% per annum. Now this also has an EEE status that means the returns are completely tax free. 
investing in a house property by availing a housing loan now housing loans are um, very good options um, if you really want to build a house or buy a house or property this um, this is um, the principal component of housing loan repayment can be claimed as a deduction under atc up to 1.5 lakhs while the interest component is also eligible for a deduction against the income from house property so such interest deduction can be claimed up to 2 lakhs for a self occupied uh, property whereas the tax the maximum tax set off um, for entire interest in one financial year is restricted to 2 lakhs for a rented property so the remaining loss can be carried forward and set off in the future years from house property income that's a good option for you guys taking an insurance cover you can also expect some savings on your taxes if you have taken a life insurance cover for self spouse or uh, children so um, this is uh, usually called a term insurance which has completely only life cover which may not have any kind of uh, um, uh, returns as such but any kind of premiums what you pay can be added up to your um, tax savings under uh, atc and um, it again the atc limit is 1.5 lakhs so your premium should not exceed this amount taking a health insurance cover now though featuring towards the end of the list um, this um, health insurance cover for oneself and the family should be the first and foremost step in any financial plan now the premium paid towards health insurance policies qualifies for deduction under section 80d of the income tax now this can be claimed by individuals for health insurance premium paid for self spouse children's and parents on the premium paid for self spouse children and parents the maximum deduction available could be 25000 rupees if the individual is below 60 years so premium paid by an individual towards self policy taken for his parent who is a senior citizen of 60 or more the maximum can be claimed is 30000 rupees now accordingly a maximum tax benefit under section 80d up to a total of 55000 if they if his age is below 60 while parents age is above 60 can be claimed too now further such an individual can claim a tax benefit up to 60000 rupees if he is 60 and above and is also paying premium for his parents so these are um, uh, some of the tax saving instruments available you can actually go come back to this video and watch keep watching it again and again if you ever have any doubts or you can drop me a message to if you have any doubts on these kind of um, savings tax savings instruments thank you and uh, hope you enjoyed this video here and i will see you again on my next video